Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video in the Pepper Collector playlist. This time we are going to take a look at the Sweet Heat Pepper. I think I got that right. It's um, it's very similar to that El Jefe or El Jeffy Pepper in uh, a few different ways but kind of different too. So let's get started taking a look at it. Alright. So we're just inside uh, taking a look here at this Sweet Heat Pepper. As you can see, it's a very, very productive plant. I picked this one up from the old Art Naps Now Garden Works. And unfortunately, I did spend way too much on this. It was another one of those $15, $16 peppers. But we did have a coupon, so we did get like 10% off of that at least. But still, that's a very expensive plant. So you can bet this one is going to try and find a spot in the shrine. So that I can at least get, you know, another crop out of it next year. But look at how beautiful these peppers are. A lot of these particular peppers are looking pretty rough because it's been uh, allowed to dry far too many times, but that one looks pretty nice. Maybe that will be our test subject. All right, so I'm gonna go grab one of those wicker harvest plates that I keep using and uh, we'll clean up this plant. And while I do that, we'll take a look at uh, some of the plant's characteristics and uh, then we'll get to tasting that pepper. All right. So this is a beautiful and very productive plant. The new parts of it just have fresh peppers bursting everywhere all along the main stem just like that uh, El Jefe pepper or the El Jefe or whatever. I'm not sure I like that one. This pepper looks good though. How's that? A little small but a beautiful color. Now unlike the red demons, this I would call red. So Shox has decided to join us today for the tasting so that we can get sort of a, a more fair sampling of what these peppers are actually scoring at on a heat scale because my opinion is a little warped in most things, especially how hot peppers are. So I'm just going to continue harvesting these off and we'll get the sampling. Well, that plant sure looks different after that harvest, and there are still so many uh, fruit starts. I've got green fruit, I've got pepper flowers on here. This is going to be a good purchase in the long run, I think. I'm very curious to find out how these taste. So let's uh, set up a tripod and find two that look, you know, worth eating. Alright, so let's just double check the card here, because safety first. Everybody knows Shocks, right? Go subscribe to her channel. She's awesome. She does Hi. cool stuff with cakes and glitter finish. Um, yeah. And balloons. Peppers. And peppers. Now, this is described as good yields of green to red peppers with a sweet and spicy flavor. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm a little nervous after that red demon, but it was nothing compared to, uh, you know, like that ghost pepper. That ghost pepper was pretty rough. Yeah, and that the sauce that made me tear up. Cheers. Cheers. Yummy peppers! It does start off nice and sweet. Yeah, until juice hits your lips. No. Mm hmm. No. Mm. It's not like a fire, but. Once it hits the back of the tongue, though. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, this is warming up pretty good. Let me give this uh, <coughs> an initial rating of probably a four. Oh, I see what you mean. Ah. Mm. Delicious oh. pepper, though. What is this? This is the sweet heat pepper. Sweet heat. This is going to make a delicious fire salt. Yep. All right. Cool. It's making me drill, so it's definitely more than a four. Well, my scale, I gave it a four. What do you give it on a scale of one to ten? About four. Well, you just said but Okay. Okay, well, maybe... Oh, see, that's getting hotter as I get up the pepper, too, towards the seeds. Yeah, that's that's what was said about the El Jeffy's, too. Uh-huh. I find it similar to that. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that makes sense, though, as you get closer up the veins and the seeds and stuff. Peppers are supposed to get hotter. I'm going to stop eating it here. Oh, Okay, so. But it's beautiful. It's, it starts off sweet, and then it just gives you that, like, afterburn of heat on the tongue. Yeah. It's a good pepper, though. I'm glad we got it. 
And uh, it is a little bit different from the El Jefe. So, yeah, I'm glad we got both of them. But it's got a good sort of an afterburn. I'm not going to place it anything above a four. But uh, I have high expectations. I want Mrs. White. I want flames on the side of my Burning face. Off my face. Yeah, we're not there so, yet. No, no. But the Carolina Reaper is growing. And uh, so is the ghost pepper. And so are the Fatalis. <laughs> and so are the other ones. Yeah, but those are the ones I'm excited about. So, all right, everybody. I guess that's it from uh, potentially the future home of the Pepper Shrine. is still undecided. And this was the Sweet Heat Pepper. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Have a fantastic day.